Live Earth Cam picture coming from the state capitol. That's where Governor Tim Walz will deliver his first state of the state address tonight. A lot of focus on the budget, but getting one passed won't be easy. Ellery McArdle is live at the capitol looking at one of the big issues the governor will address health care. Yeah, guys, because we know every year health care is basically at the forefront of discussions uh, during the legislative session. But specifically this year, there is disagreement over a tax called the medical provider fee. Now, it's a 2% tax on doctors and hospitals and goes into a fund that originally was designed to pay for health care coverage for the poor. Now, this tax has been on the books for decades, but it expires at the end of the year. So Governor Walls wants to extend it because he says it ensures 43% of Minnesota children it has been on and it has stabilized health care costs, so uh, we need to get this done. Uh, I think there's a lot of well-meaning people who know what happens if we don't do this. Uh, they're not going to let that happen. I'm not going to let it happen. Now, Republicans have a different take on this. Here's a statement from Senate Majority Leader Paul Gazelka. He says in part, adding back the provider tax is a plan to tax sick people. Every doctor's and dentist visit, every surgery and every birth is more expensive because of it. And guys, the State of the State Address starts right here at the Capitol tonight at 7 o'clock. Budget talks always can get contentious. Thanks a lot for that update, Ellery. Well, happening today, possible jurors in the Mohammed Noor trial will face in-person questioning. We are also waiting to hear the judge's decision on whether 3D renderings of the crime scene can be used during trial. Noor is charged in the shooting death of Justine Damon. Here's your local morning rush. A Minnesota family is shaken up after a car slammed into their home while they were sitting feet away. The crash happened Monday night in Albertville. Authorities say the driver suffered some type of medical emergency and died after crashing into the Deckert family's garage. That's the bedroom where our granddaughter sleeps. So if it would have went over that way, she was in, in the room sleeping. The name of the driver has not been released. A story blowing up on social media. Dozens of drivers in Woodbury are demanding answers after they had their cars towed from a lot shared by Metro Transit and a movie theater. My reaction when I saw a carless parking lot was just like, Am I seeing what I'm seeing? Like, there's nothing here. The cars were towed Monday from the lot off 494 and Valley Creek Road. Commuters can't park in the theater only spots, but drivers told us they parked in areas with no signs. Metro Transit says they didn't authorize the tows. The company that towed the cars, Rapid Recovery, has not returned our calls. A Republican-led Senate committee has pumped the brakes on the governor's gas tax. The lawmakers voted yesterday to block his transportation funding proposal. At the same time, Democrats in the House unveiled their transportation package, which includes a similar 20 cent a gallon gas tax, as well as a higher sales tax in the metro. Senate Republicans will talk about their transportation plan next week. It is Support the U Day at the state capitol with hundreds of students expecting to rally on behalf of the University of Minnesota's legislative request. The U is looking for an $87 million increase in funding for the 2020-2021 term, along with funding for capital investment projects. That rally begins at 1230 and students will meet with lawmakers afterward. This morning, Democrats demanding answers over how President Trump's family and other White House staffers got their security clearances, even though the team who did their background checks said it wasn't a good idea. The controversy comes as a manager at the White House Personnel Security Office accuses the Department of widespread mismanagement. In an exclusive interview with Today, she explains why she decided to come forward. The protection of national security is not a Democratic issue or a Republican issue. It's an American issue. Coming up on the Today Show, you will hear the full interview, including what President Trump is saying about this growing controversy. Let's head over to Sven now for the one thing we need to know about our weather. Yeah, we got sunshine back today, a few clouds moving out this morning and some snow showers north of the metro. Uh, lighter wind speeds as well, and still talking about a big weekend warm up, so right about average today, but 60s on the way. All right, sounds good. Thanks, Sven. Thousands of basketball fans are headed to the Twin Cities for Final Four weekend. Here's a live look of downtown Minneapolis this morning. It's going to be a busy few days as crews work to get ready for the big crowds that are expected. With hotels booking up fast and many reportedly selling out, homeowners around here are looking to open their doors to make a little extra cash. If you're someone playing host through Airbnb, Alicia is joining us now with a few safety tips in the digital dive. You know, Chris, we actually saw this when the Super Bowl was in town. So many visitors coming in looking for a place to stay and so many Minnesotans looking to play host. So before you hand over your keys to a complete stranger, 
Here are some safety tips to remember. Number one, always talk through the Airbnb site. This way you're protected through Airbnb. There are bad people out there that are going to try to scam you, and this goes for booking, payments, and any communication you may have with your guests. Now, it's important to host or for hosts to equip their home with safety equipment. That goes for things like smoke alarms and carbon monoxide detectors. Make sure they're working, have a fire extinguisher, and even a first aid kit. Those are things you probably should already have in your home if you're a homeowner. All right, number three, set clear expectations. Some Airbnbs are simply just a room rental, which means there's other people in the home at the time, while others are an entire house. Be sure to let them know any house rules, like no jumping on the bed. Amazing or, picture. Yeah, thank you. Too. I saw that picture and I said, yes, this Scoff needs to loss. be on our show. <laughs> or taking your shoes off before you get into the home. That's a lot of people's rules. Uh, or maybe you have quiet hours for your neighbors. Neighbors, let them know first uh, firsthand right when they get into your home. Number four, get to know your guests in advance. These are complete strangers, so you may want to know who's going to be sleeping in your beds while you're gone. You can answer any questions they may have so you both feel at ease and comfortable. And number five, last but not least, if something just doesn't feel right, well, Airbnb is actually sending people to be on the ground here in the Twin Cities during NCAA's uh, Final Four tournament in town. So yeah, if something just doesn't feel right, if you have a problem with booking, payment, you name it, they're going to be here to help you. And last but not least, you guys, be an ambassador to the Twin Cities. These people may be coming here for the very first time, and so you want to give them a good experience. You want to be uh, able to let them come back, know that there's places to eat, fine dining, great places to go see. So maybe leave a list of your favorites for them. It'd be nice. That's yeah, and you can idea. always get a hold of your host, too, usually, I've found, through mm -hmm. uh, the website or whatnot. Right. So, yeah. yeah, talk to them. They like it. Well, coming up on Sunrise, we are going to check in with a business in bloom. We introduce you to a woman in charge of keeping a 133-year-old family tradition growing. And a break in at President Trump's Mar-a-Lago Resort, the woman arrested and what she was carrying when police caught her.